Yeah, I imagine I started probably with my parents realizing that I was the biggest kid um, always in my, in my class or in my age. Um, so when I was young, I was trying football, basketball, baseball. Um, I was trying every sport, not American football. Um, and, and basketball was something that I always had a passion for and always enjoyed and, and enjoyed the competitiveness, enjoyed the, the teamship with teammates and maybe in high school or um, AAU travel ball is, is when I started to realize that I was consistently um, playing or a better player than, than other guys that I was playing and realized that I could have a career getting a, a scholarship for college and potentially a career playing professionally. Um, and yeah. Um, when I first came to Europe, honestly, I had no clue about European basketball, FIBA basketball, how the basketball was played, the business side of it, the teams, the countries, the travel. Um, that first year in Germany was a real transition, a real learning experience to, to be thrown into another country, new language, new city situation, everything. Um, but as this is now my fifth year in Europe, I think now I've started to get a, a good understanding of how things work, how things are run out here, um, and, and the opportunity to play basketball in Europe as an as a American. Um, for me as an experience, I, I cherish being able to travel the world and go country to country to meet people of different cultures, ethnicities, um, religions, and just to be able to learn about life and people and, and cultures, I think is, is for me one of the biggest blessings of my life to be able to consider this my job and travel the world and meet people and experience parts of the world that as, as an American in high school or college, I never thought that I would ever do. Um, yeah, when we came here when I was with Ulm, um, I don't know if that was December, January, February, sometime in the winter, and we were staying in, in Benamadena in the Higron Resort. And they told me it was a five minute walk to the beach, but you gotta go all the way down the hill to, to get there. But I must've been at the beach like an hour and a half, two hours um, before the game in the water, enjoying, enjoying the weather. And I remember thinking like, man, like somebody gets to play out here. This feels like my hometown, hometown of San Diego and the weather, the beach, the, the lifestyle, it was something that as soon as I got here, I knew I was like, wow, like if I have the opportunity to play Malaga, I need to come here. Uh, and thankfully the stars aligned that, that I was able to come here. But yeah, as, as soon as I got here, just being here reminded me of being home um, and knew it was somewhere that I wanted to be. Plus, plus a hundred, plus a hundred. I think my expectations when I, when I received the call to, to play here was, you know, I, I knew it would be an amazing opportunity. I knew that, that I would love it here, um, but I didn't know how much I would love it here. I didn't know how much it would make me feel like I was back home in San Diego. I didn't know how much I would um, get along with the people that they were similar in my personality and um, the, rela the relaxed uh, way of thinking and um, the lifestyle, the vibe. It, it was everything I could have asked for and then some. So to answer your question, no, I didn't expect this. I, I expected great things, but to, to be here now is, is, I think this will be some of the best years of my career when I look back on it. Um, I mean, last year, I think when, you, when a team is put together and you have a whole new roster, I think it takes some time to develop those relationships with guys, with coach especially, um, to understand how guys work, to understand how guys' personalities are. Um, and I, I, I mean, as you can see last year, I think we did an amazing job from the staff to who put the team together, to the players, to the coaches, um, everybody just buying into to being a team. Um, and that picked up from, from day one. Obviously, if we have almost the same team plus Cam coming back, it, it made it incredibly easy for us to start day one with, instead of a base here, like most teams start, we start with the base already here. Um, and it, from, from the players, from the coaches, from the organization, I mean, I think I can speak for, for all the players when I say this is, this is a really enjoyable place to play with as far as the players and coaches because it's truly a team. You know, in all my years of playing basketball, you got a couple guys here and there that 
have a personality bigger than somebody else's. They have some selfishness to them. They have some uncoachability to them. Um, but from top to bottom, from the first to the last guy off the bench, everybody wants to play for one another. Everybody has everybody's back. Um, I want the best for the next guy. The next guy wants the best for me. So I, I don't think as far as the coaches could ask, the players could ask, I mean, top to bottom, this is a team that is actually a team. Expectations, I don't think I expect anything. I think anything can happen. Um, you know, with what's left in front of us, we can win the final four of the Champions League, we can win the ACB, we can also lose the final four of the Champions League, or we can lose the ACB. Um, but I would say our goals are definitely to win the Champions League. Um, after last year and in the locker room collectively, we know that, you know, we had an opportunity to slip out of our hands last year. Um, and I would think as a group, we're extremely focused and driven to, to be able to win the Champions League this year. Um, and as well with the ACB, obviously with teams like Madrid and Barcelona year in and year out, they're always at the top. Um, but I said this going into to the, to Copa del Rey, I wouldn't choose any other team over Malaga um, to, play, to play with, to play against in a series. I'm going to take us every time. Yeah, I think the biggest thing in, in developing my game um, has been the consistent change and progression of my body. Um, from college, I was probably weighing 20 pounds, maybe like 10, 12, 15 kilos um, more than I am now. And I, I attribute that to, to my hard work, to, to, to the dedication of eating right, drinking the right things, not drinking the, the wrong things, getting good sleep, um, getting an extra work in the weight room on the court. Um, but I think that's, that's allowed me to be able to play longer. I have, uh, my stamina is lasting longer. I can run up and down. I can jump higher than I could before. Um, so I think that, that the more my body has, has changed, the more it's allowed me to, to expand my game and, and allow me to do things that I know I've always been capable of doing, but doing them at a, a level and speed that allow me to be successful in those things now. The weather. Simple. <laughs> um, I mean, I go back to, to my time in Germany and, and my time in France. I remember uh, to throw my, to, hopefully this, this gets out there, but to throw my dad under the bus, he came to visit me when I was in Ulm. And for, for a week or however long it was, there was no sun. It was only gray, snow, rain. And my dad looks at me, he's like, this is kind of depressing, isn't it? It, it can be, it can be. So, so to be here and year round to have blue skies and, and the beach nearby and, and the weather, I say that's the best because I think in my opinion, the weather rubs off on everybody's you know, vibe and personality. If, if it's sunny outside and people can go outside and have a coffee, take, take a lunch outside, you know, that vitamin D, it, it, it brings some energy into you. If you gotta stay inside the whole time and you can only go outside to go to your car or whatever because it's snowing, that's not, it's not the best quality of life compared to something like here. Obviously you have to adjust to it and you have to learn to live in it. But I mean, for me being born and raised in, in San Diego, California, this is, this is home for me. Um, I'm a pretty low key individual. Um, I don't like to, I don't like to go out and party too much and, and be outside. I like to, be by my, not be by myself, but stay on my own time, do my own things, do what I want to do. Um, what motivates me outside of basketball is, is my family and friends. Um, you know, as, as I think a lot of people see, I do a lot of solo traveling and traveling the world. I love to travel. I love to experience different parts of the world, see different parts of the world. Um, but something that motivates me on a daily basis is my family. That means the most for me. Um, I mean, all my tattoos have some sort of significance to me, um, but I'll go with the Elvis on my leg. Um, for me, it's, it's a part of my body that I see all the time. Um, and I, I see Elvis, I immediately want to listen to some music of his, or I immediately start thinking of, of my Oma for who's the reason that I got this tattoo. Um, so for me to see that on a daily basis and constantly be thinking about my, my Oma and grandma back home, it's, I would say that's the most special. Zero. 
zero times did I regret that. I'm a man of my word and, and I wanted to, to keep that. If I were to go back, I definitely wouldn't promise that. I definitely would not promise that, but I don't have any regrets about it. Um, yeah, I think that was, that was something that I said, we won, I did, and I think, I don't have any regrets because I think that was something that a lot of the fans, people around the club were able to, to get excited about that, get, get involved with that. Um, and I think the time after Copa del Rey leading up to, to the Fiesta, um, there was a lot of still excitement around the team. When is this party going to be? You know, what about next year? Everybody's coming back. Um, so I think it was an opportunity to, to bring together the fans and, and whatnot. And I think I did that and I have no regrets about that. I, I would do it again. No, no more promises. I gave my one promise. I'm done with promises. Ask somebody else, interview somebody else about that. Yo hablo con mis compañeros todos los días y tengo mis amigos y amigas afuera de, de mis compañeros que yo hablo con y, y nada, necesito practicar más con la gente, con mis compañeros, pero todos los días estoy aprendiendo y, y practicando mi español. <laughs> My message, me encanta, me encanta Málaga, me encanta los fans, me encanta la gente aquí y nada, este es mi mensaje.